Okay, let's look at an induction problem, magnetic induction. This is from uh, GRA 0177, problem number 86. So this is what the problem is. You have a coil with 15 turns, which is at first located such that the normal vector of the coil, now what is normal vector of the coil? Say this was the coil wound like this, normal vector would be pointing perpendicular to the surface. So the normal vector at time zero is along the y direction and then it rotates, rotates with frequency omega which is 300 radians per second. The magnetic field in this region is pointed along negative y direction, so into the board and the magnitude is half a tesla and the resistance of the entire coil, all 15 turns combined is 9 ohms. Now it's asking you to find the current that flows through the um, loop. So conceptually, we know that changing magnetic field produces electric and changing electric produces magnetic. So here, fields are not changing. But remember, the equations that govern this, kind of, this induction say this del dot E equals minus dv dt and this could be converted to integral form which would say closed loop integral of E dot dl is equal to minus d dt of magnetic flux. Now how do you convert this? You can look that up but this says a closed loop integral around a circle or any path is equal to the changing magnetic flux that flows through it. Now magnetic flux is um, integral of B dot dA across some surface. Now remember, note this dot product. Even though the magnitude of B is not changing, as the, as the rings rotate, the normal vectors are rotating. The normal vector is the direction of dA area element. So this dot product is changing. So there will be a cosine or sine term which is changing with time. So the time derivative of magnetic flux is not zero. So let's do this. Remember B is B naught times minus X hat. So I'll bring out minus B naught integral of the direction X hat dot dA. Okay, so at any moment in time, the direction between x hat and dA, the normal vector, so I can rewrite this as x hat dot normal vector dA. Okay, so now what is going to be x hat dot n hat? Alright, so at time zero, we know that x hat is coming out of the board and n hat is that way but at later times the angle changes now what is that angle between them we know that x hat dot n hat is equal to the magnitude of x hat magnitude of n hat times the angle between cosine of the angle between them remember these are normal vectors so this just these are just one, so it's just cosine of the angle between them. So we just need to figure out the angle. We know the angle starts with 90 degrees and then increases as a function of time. So we can figure out that the angle at time zero, it's a function of time, is equal to at time t equals zero, it's at pi over two, 90 degrees, plus as a function of time, it increases. How much does it increase? Omega t. Remember, omega is like angular velocity. So your angle increases with the velocity times time. Just like your position x is x naught plus vt. x of t is equal to x naught plus velocity in x times time. So it's a similar situation here. So now let's plug that in. So you get phi b is equal to minus b naught. Now x dot n is cosine of theta, but cosine of theta doesn't depend on area element. So it could come out cosine of theta. And now we just have integral of dA. Now integral of dA is just the area of that 
loop, area covered by that loop. Well, they didn't tell us the radius of the loop. Well, say the radius was r hat. Say the radius was r hat. I mean, say the radius was just some capital R. So the area covered by the loop would be pi r squared. Okay. Now someone should be should be mad that I wrote pi r squared because there are 15 turns. Each turn adds one area. When you go again, you get twice the area. When you go 15 times, you get 15 times the area. Think about that. Um, if you have a soap bubble and you make a ring, then you get one soap bubble film, but then when you twist it again, you get second one. That's why it's 15 times pi r squared. That's the area. Okay. Now, the voltage, right? Voltage. I, I use voltage because integral of E dot dl is minus the voltage. But let me just say magnitude of voltage is equal to. So I'll ignore the negative sign. We'll figure out the direction later. But let's just deal with the time derivative of phi. So voltage is equal to d phi dt. So let's take derivative of that. And we get, so all this stuff is constant. So minus 15 b naught pi r squared. Derivative of cosine is minus sine. So minus makes that plus sine of theta. And then we get derivative of inside. That was just the derivative of outside, which was derivative of cosine times the derivative of inside. Derivative of theta, take the derivative of that. Pi over 2 is constant, so that's 0. And derivative of that is just omega. So you get omega here. So that's the voltage. So then current. Just the magnitude of current is magnitude of V over R, V equals IR. So that is just 15 B naught pi R squared sine of theta omega divided by resistance, which is 9 ohms. And that's the answer. And the question is only asking for the magnitude. Oh, and the radius is one centimeter. I misread the problem. Radius equals one centimeter. Anyway, now you can plug in all the numbers and get an answer. Be careful when you plug in one centimeter. You want to convert it to to uh, meters, not leave it in, in centimeters. And make sure all the other units are in standard SI units. So that should give you your answer.